for cool. sure, it Ryan. Will be here. <laughs> and I think y'all are going to really enjoy do, shooting football tonight, right? Going out there oh, with all your all gear. It's going to be nice so and good cool out there. and comfy. I am rare and ready to go. <laughs> Love October high school football. All right, Ryan, we'll see you at 6. Thank you. And stay tuned. Abby has your 530 news on this Friday afternoon when we come back. A flood of... Powered by WCTV.TV. Eyewitness News at 5.30 starts now. A new report shows pregnant women in Georgia are dying during pregnancy or preterm labor more than almost any other state. A look at why and what's being done to change it. But first, ready, set, vote. Early voting is set to kick off Monday in Florida. This comes as many across the state are still working to clean up from back-to-back -back hurricanes. We'll look at what Governor DeSantis is doing to make sure everybody is able to cast their vote. Thanks for joining us tonight at 530, everybody. I'm Abby Walton. Zach has the night off. Governor DeSantis issued an order allowing voting-related changes in counties impacted by Hurricane Milton. Now, this is the second time in less than a month flexibility has been given to supervisors of elections due to catastrophic storm damage. The governor's order allows supervisors of elections in Milton-affected counties to make changes such as consolidating polling sites, making it easier for displaced voters to obtain mail-in ballots. Allowing the supervisors of elections to make, you know, reasonable, uh, modest but reasonable accommodations uh, if they have had damage to any of their voting sites because of the storm uh, and to be able to ensure that folks have an ability uh, and a place to be able to cast their ballot. This order comes with less than three weeks until the general election. It shortens the time frame for election supervisors in heavily damaged areas to make changes to early voting sites and permits them to set up consolidated voting centers where people can cast ballots. And some Floridians are already casting their ballots by mail. So let's take a look at a breakdown of those votes by party, courtesy of the state's election website. As you can see, a little more than 40% of those ballots are coming from Democrats, with 37% of those turned in by Republicans. Covering South Georgia, much love. Northeast gas station and convenience store chain is setting up shop in the Peach State. Next month, a Wawa will open in Bainbridge. It'll be at the intersection of U.S. Highways 27 and 84 and will be the first Wawa in Georgia. Today, the company announcing the grand opening will take place November 14th. And Wawa is building three locations in Tallahassee right now with two more planned. One is on the corner of Blairstone Road and Bikasuki Road. The other is at Thomasville Road near McClay Boulevard. And another is at Capitol Circle Northwest and Hartsfield Road. They're also under contract to build one in Valdosta. All right, let's turn to weather right now and take a live look outside over the football field at Childs High School. A gorgeous fall Friday night. Chief Meteorologist Mike McCall joins us. Mike, this is what I call perfect high school football weather. It, it really doesn't get any better than this. It, yeah, it, we've had some mid-70s today. That's Remember back on Monday when it was hot? Well, now we're talking about highs in the 70s, 